With a push and a paddle, an armada of environmentalists took to the Delaware River for a water protest. They say the state hasn't stepped in to prevent pollution caused by the nearby Mercer generating station. We want to be calling on both PSE&G to re be retiring this plant and on New Jersey DEP to enforce the Endangered Species Act and enforce the Clean Water Act. The coal burning power plant is operated by PSE&G and located just outside of Trenton. Activists say it's not just an air polluter, but one of the largest sources for toxic water pollution. They need water to help to cool off, to help to cool off the facility. And so what happens for uh, all power plants is they, they suck in a ton of water, in this case millions of gallons, and then they shoot it back out. Every year it kills more than 70 million fish and fish larvae and kills more than 30 different species of fish, including now the, including the Atlantic and bottlenose sturgeon, which are on the endangered species list. Jeff Tittle with the New Jersey Sierra Club says it should close or install cooling towers. That system would reduce the amount of water drawn from the river. When they go through the plant, they pick up all kinds of pollutants, uh, metals like, you know, uh, everything from lead and mercury, cadmium, and they just charge that back in the river. And what that does is it, it puts you know, water pollution into the river. Also, it's superheated water, which can also lead to fish kills in the summertime in particular. Right here, we have Crosswicks Creek. And Crosswicks Creek is really interesting because it's the last creek in the tidal area of the Delaware before it turns non-tidal. And therefore, fish that come up the Delaware to spawn their last stop is the Crosswicks. Which makes this area especially vulnerable. Margot Pellegrino just completed a paddle from Newark to Chicago, advocating for clean water. Wherever I stopped along the way from, you know, Newark to Chicago, everyone is well abreast of what is compromising their water, what has polluted their water in the past, what is still polluting it, and what threats there are in the future. PSE&G has committed millions of dollars to mitigate air pollution at the plant in recent years. Neither the company nor DEP would return our request for comment today, but the state has reportedly said it's reviewing the federal rules. So the kayakers will head out along the Delaware River past the Mercer Coal Plant. The Sierra Club has already issued a letter of intent to sue the DEP if the state doesn't commit to provide protections. Along the Delaware River in Bordentown, I'm Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.